Alrighty. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. It's your boy, Ghost Day, and today is another review day. Boom, nailed it. <laughs> there was an and this time. Oh man, if you've been around for the beginning of my last three streams, I would say and and then have nothing to continue with, but I fucking got it today. We're doing a review. Another weed review. Weed review. So, get ready, because it's about to get lit in here. Uh, what's going on? Who we got here? Hello, and welcome. <clears throat> Don't you tell me what to do. You're not my dad. I was gonna try to come up with a with a with a racy joke there, but wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Son, wait, Dad. Wait. <laughs> God damn it. Nani? Oh, Nanda door. Oh. I got a little, uh, oh, that's not even the one. I just had to resmell that one, I guess. Might interest you. All right, <laughs> all right. Destiny 3 rumored to have no Crucible or PVP. What? I hope, what? No. Are they gonna do like a Halo 3 thing where they separate it? It's very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna save that for later and watch that after the stream. I'm not gonna be on for very long, like two hours at most. I don't plan on being on for very long. Um, I probably won't even play any games um, today, which I should probably switch up my thing here. But, 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 update. AMA, um, I know there's a tag for analysis, let's do that one, analysis, um, beginner players, let's do that, um, anime, and I can have one more tag, oops, never mind, oh, why is, Wait, why did all of these just reset? What the fuck? They like weren't any of the tags that I selected at all. You motherfucker. All right. One, two, three, four. I need one more tag. You'll take those tags and use them. Thank you very much. I will use them, actually. Fuck. Um, casual playthrough. There you go. Casey. Bubbles bit you? What? Was it like an aggressive thing, or...? She just like being a cunt. Here's another question. Did you provoke it? Because, uh, let me tell you, depending on what you'd be doing to me, I'd bite you too. I was just chilling, and then she was chilling, and then she just jumped on your arm and drew some blood. Oh my god. She was like, hmm, I wonder what human flesh tastes like. Chomp. Bubbles wants to play. That's not the most creepiest thing that I've heard ever. Now you have little bubble teeth prints. Nice, that's adorable. 
Painful, but adorable. <laughs> get tattooed, bet. I have yet to get tattooed, but I want to start working out first before I get tattooed. <laughs> My fear for getting tattooed, like I don't have a lot of surface area as it is. If I get tattooed and then all of a sudden just gain a lot of weight when I get older, there, my tattoos are gonna get fucked. So, yeah. <clears throat> get a face tattoo? Nah. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, maybe, if it's tasteful enough. But that's kind of difficult. It'd have to be something like real, like worth it, but nah. No face tattoos. Nothing above the head. Neck down, and that's pretty much it. Everywhere else is fine. My arms are still little big joint across forehead. <laughs> no. No way. Welcome, Pete, by the way. Your boss has a, a lip tat on the inside of his of the the lip. Oh a lip I see on the inside of the lip. It says bitch. <laughs> She's classy. Fuck yeah. Sounds like it. <laughs> Haven't met anybody with an inside the lip tattoo yet, but I've, I've seen a few of them online. That's an interesting one. I feel like that one is like, why? I don't like. I don't know. But to each their own. You do you. A joke one in there. Yeah, you could probably get creative with it for sure. I believe it. I've got a lot of, to me, cool ideas for tattoos, so I'm excited to start. Yeah. Or an eye tattoo. Get the fucking, uh, what do they call that? The Naruto thing? <laughs> people have done it. People have, people are crazy. Eye tattoos are sketchy. Rinnegan, there you go. Sharingan, that's kind of the Sharingan is the one I was thinking of, but both work. Or just get black, just blackout eyes. Sharingan. <laughs> and then you can tell him to get the. Get his dick out of his mouth. <laughs> I'll have you arrested. Stop, bully. Oh, man. Too good. What time is it? Five o'clock on the dot. Um, so, we're just killing. Oh my god! All right, we're we're taking a dark turn here. Let's turn around a little bit. Let's go back into the nice, peaceful forest and not not go into prison or death. Um, <laughs> yes, the emotes were approved. Hell yes! I'm so glad. I have tier 2 and tier 3 emotes coming as well, so if you're a tier 3 or a tier 2, then you will have some coming in the future, but it's Sunday, so they probably won't be ready until tomorrow. <clears throat> Pretty hate rad. That fucking... <laughs> Why'd you call it 8 rad? What does that mean? Does it mean Brody ain't rad? Also, yes, Bean is here. It adds the 8 automatically? What? But... Brody 8 is the default? Why isn't it just... Oh, be I'm assuming because Brody standard is just taken. Ah, that makes sense. How does it feel being the 8th iteration of Brody's on Twitch? Brody 8. That's fucking funny. Is that- that should just be- that should just be your new thing now, Brody 8. Like this. Unpai.
What the fuck is that? Whose emote is that? That's hilarious. There's some cats. There's some cat butts for you. It's James. Oh, like Uber Hexar Nova. That's right. I see it now. Man, I can't wait to fucking be partner and just like not have Song Ho as my prefix for my emotes. <laughs> Mine will probably be Ghost 8, which that'll that'll kind of work if it's Ghost 8. I can't believe he has 60 emotes, dude. 60. All right. I can still get a whiff of the, the other bag that's open, but I just ripped this open and I didn't even uh, open the Ziploc yet and I can already smell it and it smells really good. 60's the cap? I would think so. That's a fuck ton of emotes. I thought the cap was 25, but I've been wronged. I hope my internet can hold together for at least a little while. Okay, now that there's a handful of you here, um, before I start the weed review, um, I have some new things if you check out down below the stream. Um, I've changed a couple of my panels, so I have, um, I now have a fancy smanchy new, uh, stream schedule that I'm gonna try my best to, um, you know, stick to and abide by, but it's more of a guideline than a rule. Just remember that. Um, my next thing is that is new is I have this fucking, I'm trying to point to it, but it's down there somewhere in the middle. Um, it's a suggestion box or a comment box, and you can use that to however your fucking heart desires. You can use it to ask me a question. You can use it to give me a suggestion. You can use it, use it to give me criticism. Uh, you can use it for the memes. Whatever you want to do, use it. And then, um, I've been inspired by Matt's recent workings of his merch stuff, so I'm gonna be trying to working, gonna work on some new images for my branding, and hopefully get some new shirts and stuff out soon. Um, so there is the merch thing down there. Take a look if there's anything that slightly interests you. I would suggest getting it, because it's not gonna be there forever, but... At the same time, don't buy my merch, because it's crap. You smoked good weed yesterday, but forget what it was called. Rest in peace. That's always the... It's like listening to a good song on shuffle, and then you miss the song, and you don't pick up the name of it, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, no. I can't. Unless you can just go back, but... If you're using something like Pretzel Rocks, then you can't go back. You can only go forward. All right, now that that stuff's out of the way, let's get right into this weed review. So, Death Star, like the Star Wars, hence the intergalactic pack. from Wemo.ca. Not a sponsor, but please sponsor. Uh, this is an Indica. Now, I'm very skeptical because they labeled the Skywalker as a sativa, but it really isn't a sativa. Its lineage is, is a hybrid between two Indicas, so I don't really know why they labeled it as a, a sativa. Unless this is a different strain that they have labeled Skywalker. Um, yeah, it's not a sativa. And <clears throat> yeah, it definitely gave me more of a body high yesterday than a, than a mental high. I was not focused. I was not very creative. Um, I was just kind of very lazy and wanted to eat a lot. So yeah, <laughs> that's typically how that kind of thing goes. So I'm expecting similar results with this one today, which is why I don't want to make the stream very long because I feel like after half an hour to an hour, it's just going to get very boring. So without further ado, it smells very good already. Um, is this empty? No, it's not. Um, I have to empty this somehow. Let me... I think I've got a... Uh, it's... Mm. I think I have enough in there to roll another joint. Uh, 
Well, maybe to save time, I'll just set it aside. Um... Just clearing out what I had in here before, which was the sherbet. Which, Sherbert is easily one of my favorites. One of my favorite strains now. This is the free eighth that they sent me with this order. And I'm so happy. Because, yeah, I'm gonna have to look for that. <laughs> Hate when your grinder's not empty. <sighs> Fucking first world problems, am I right? Damn, look at that. That. I don't have autofocus on, so that's as good as it's gonna get. Not bad though, decently sized. Cool. This one's a lot more coarse than the other one, and definitely a lot more dry. Very dry, this one is. Probably good enough. It's now a little tree. Plant it right here. You guys can't even see my little pot over there, so it doesn't matter. Ordered groceries tonight. I <laughs> fucking what kind of groceries? Beer? Yeah. Beer's Brody's only grocery. His only expense keeps him alive. Um, speaking of gr of grow, I said the word grow, but um, there's a uh, a movement that I'm very interested in joining um, that I'm gonna show you guys here really quickly. It's called what is it called? Yes, it's called Overgrow Canada. Check this out. So this is a campaign that is essentially here. What does this say? Dana Larson is calling on Canadians to grow opium poppies and create a safe drug supply. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh yes, no it is. So they're doing cannabis seeds. So basically if you sign up, they'll give you a hundred free cannabis seeds that are heavy CBD and low THC and with these seeds you basically just go around your city and spread them you plant them in they they specifically recommend to plant them in front of police stations in front of like parliament buildings uh, public parks stuff like that businesses anywhere just spread the seeds around and uh Plant them in your yard. I would, yeah. I fucking love to have that in my yard. But um, basically what they're trying to do is essentially infest, for lack of a better term, um, Canada with natural growing cannabis plants. So that's pretty cool. And I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to make some content out of it. I'm going to film uh, a video of me spreading the seeds around my, my town. I'll probably bring my cat with me. Invasive species re... Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a poor way of, of wording it, but I think, it honestly, it'll be good altogether because, honestly, the more available that it becomes, the less it's gonna... the less expensive it's gonna be. And just, it's gonna be better for everybody. I don't know. I think it's a good cause. Um... Know the risks. Be discreet. If you're if you post photos showing off your opium scenes and you're you could get a visit from your local police. Rip. Yeah, so you gotta be careful about it, but I think it'll be fine. I'm not gonna give away where my city is or anything like that. True. 
Yeah, you're right. I, I will be careful, but I think I'm feeling pretty confident about it. We'll make it work. Maybe I'll make it a private video. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I wanted to share that. I just learned about that today, so that's kind of a cool thing. I'm, I'm about that. Yeah, I'd have to be careful to just not disclose any locations. Super general. Um, my, I was planning on uh, planting some down by uh, the river where there's lots of water and moisture. Um, and then also up towards the lake as well. Kind of in like the beaten path foresty areas. That way they don't get like messed with. Yeah, I mean, you never know who's going to come across it, but... Fuck it. Right. Nice. This one's definitely a lot more of a darkish green. I think the last one, like... The colors between these two are so apparent. Well, not really in that lighting, but... <laughs> to me, when I'm looking at them, this one's clearly like a deeper green. Almost similar. The same color as my... Um... Fuck. Sorry, almost the same chroma as my Buster. Uh, this one is a lot more of like a lighter, almost like brownish green, but yeah, that's interesting. It smells very good though. I keep blowing out with my nose and it's like blowing it out of the thing. But anyways, let me pull up the, the page for this strain. Good old Leafly. Um, also, yes, Casey Titan. He's the only one that really puts up with being able to go outside. Yeah, the Lions did have snow yesterday. We barely had any snow, and I live in Canada, which really sucks. But actually, I'm not complaining that much. Because snow kind of sucks, to be honest. Ah. There we go. All right, so this is Leafly's breakdown of Death Star. Um, <clears throat> Death Star is the potent cross of Sensi Star and Sour Diesel and has shared sativa and indica effect effects of its parents. It has a mixed taste that combines sweet, skunk, and fuel aromas into a very potent fragrance that isn't easy to hide. This strain may not have the ability to destroy planets, but it does have quite the powerful buzz. Effects can be slow to onset, but once they do, Death Star takes away in all cares and replaces them with a state of relaxed euphoria. Great for daytime or nighttime use. We'll see about that. This Ohio native now has fans throughout the galaxy. Um, top effects, relaxed, euphoric, happy, uplifted, and sleepy is on there. See, that's what kind of what worries me. I don't really like strains that make me sleepy or tired, but we'll see what happens. Um, earthy, pungent, and diesel. Definitely got the earthy in there. There's not too much of a diesel smell, honestly. That's pretty light, and um, it is quite it is quite a bit sweet too. Definitely sweet. Um, good for stress, pain, depression, insomnia, and nausea, which is pretty good. You don't see too many of those. Um, negatives, dry mouth and dry eyes with very little paranoia, dizzy, and anxiousness, which is very good. Very, very good. So, I'm excited. Yeah, this is looking really good. What do people have to say about the reviews? After I smoked this, I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of neurons suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I fear something terrible has happened. Oh my god. Definitely a creeper, and once it takes hold, you'll be creeping to get anything done for hours. Oh, rip. Went out for a bite with friends, and we kept forgetting what we were talking about, so that was fun. I like the indica heavy high that doesn't turn my munchie function into overdrive. That's good. Highly recommend for me time with Netflix peppered with naps. All right, so that's kind of a brief sort of summation of what we can expect. pretty excited it smells like it's gonna taste good I did smoke a little bit earlier today too 
throughout. I smoked in the morning and during my break at work, but not a lot. So we're a little, uh, a little pre-high, if you will. Bubbles has the stinkiest poop ever. If your cat has smelly poop, it's all in the food. It's all in the food. If you want less stinky poops, you gotta you gotta feed different food. Which is unfortunate because most cat food nowadays is expensive if you wanna get stuff that's actually healthy. Because if you didn't know, the same way that you can go to the grocery store and buy cheap processed food, cat food and dog food is exactly the same way. If you buy cat and dog food from the grocery store, it's most likely all processed and full of garbage. Which, it'll keep your pet alive. But, I mean, if you eat fucking, you know, minute meals from the store or like, you know, cheap noodles for your whole life, it's probably not going to turn out very well in the long run. It's hard though, dude, honestly, like, I don't blame anybody that buys grocery store food. I also eat all the noodles that I want. Because nobody can tell me otherwise. I'm actually gonna have instant ramen right after the stream. Like, right after. It's the first thing I do as soon as I turn the stream off is I'm gonna go into the kitchen and turn the kettle on. Live tasty, die young. Fuck yes, I love that. Very good words to live by. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe not the die young part. Live tasty and die slowly with health problems. You made super good baked mas... Mastaccioli. What the heck is that? Obviously some kind of pasta. <laughs> Master Choli. Master Choli? Dude. Guy's my sensei. Stash Bree. Bree. Is it a pasta though? Because I love pasta. <sighs> All right. Time for the practical test. One Death Star incoming, preparing for laser launch. Planet, our target planet is uh, Earth, cause fuck those guys. Ooh, penne pasta is my favorite. Spaghetti sauce and lots of cheese baked. That honestly sounds incredible. Make me hungry. Actually, I do have, speaking of instant, like, trash processed foods, I have some sidekicks. Some bacon carbonara sidekicks that I was gonna spice up with some Cajun and put some extra cheese on and have that for dinner tonight. So we'll see. Depends on how lazy this makes me. This, the true test is if I feel like making the bacon carbonara, or if I just feel like making, uh, instant noodles. <laughs> really good so far, though. The burn is really nice. The smoke's really smooth. 
um, I found with the Skywalker that it wasn't like, like you can tell like when you get like a nice, even like white smoke, it's perfect. The Skywalker was a little bit, I want to say like unclean, but it wasn't that it was unclean. It was just different. Um, it is pretty light. Like they were saying, it's, I can feel it's going to be a slow kind of onslaught, but it's good so far. I recommend. It's a little bit heavy after a while. I'm gonna turn my fan on because it's getting warm. Good boys. There's a dog barking outside. That's what has their interest right now. Broken game? Question mark? <laughs> Enough runescape. Oh yeah, so good. Just chillin'. <laughs> what you doing, Didian? Hey? <laughs> nice. How's everyone's day been today? Tell me a little bit about you guys. What's going on? No, you cannot have him. Actually, yeah, you can't have him. <laughs> You're welcome. He's a good boy. You and your grandma, dude. Trying to push out Windows updates to as many laptops and computers as possible. Damn. Um, I remember being around when you were talking about that, yes. The whole situation just sounds insane.
family is wild. <laughs> Judge Judy. Dude. Probably pays a lot. Actually, would it pay to be on Judge Judy, or do you have to pay to be on Judge Judy? It probably pays to be on Judge Judy. Dude, so good. She don't take no bullshit. Just trying to live in my home with your cats and dog. True, dude, true. I feel you. Titan. What are you doing? Buddy. What are you tired? <laughs> yeah, that's Goku up there. Also tired. He's getting fat. Because <laughs> he's like the smallest cat, but... He's got a lot of extra weight on him. <laughs> Toothless is probably sleeping on the bed, I'm sure. Or just on the other cat post in the other room. I had some lady give me shit for... Did I show you guys my backpack? I don't think I did yet. Not that anybody really cares, but this is a new backpack that I got. It's called the G Train by uh, a company called Curgo. They make a lot of like travel products for pets that are like safety tested and really good quality. So uh, I'm actually very happy with it. It's pretty good. Um, it basically has two compartments, one that you can put your shit in, and one that you can put your pet in. And the one that you can put your pet in, just like, has a window, and your pet's head just like, sticks out the, the thing, and just rides along with you. It's pretty dope. Um, my cat doesn't really like it, right now. But we're trying to get used to it. It'll get there. It, uh, I can tuck the straps away, these things, and then it has a handle here, and you can use it as, like, a normal carrier, which is pretty cool. That kind of helps justify buying it. <sighs> but I'm stoked. And if you like cats, and you like just watching stuff, I'll probably have some cat videos coming out eventually. When I when my cat gets comfortable enough to go on walks, so I'll just like walk down to the river and then walk my cat by the river and hang out and smoke weed probably. <laughs> Do like weekly cat vlogs, and I'll throw in some B-roll footage of cats at my store that are up for adoption or something. I should start doing b-roll footage from my work because some pretty wild shit happens sometimes dude a lady's dog shit on her foot today and it was disgusting <laughs> they're doing very well they are doing very well what are you doing buddy Oh, he's in there. Well, going in there. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, the backpack is good. There you go. Just have fun in there. Yeah, dude. It was. It was fucking. Oh my god. It was so sudden too. Like, we were just standing there talking about a product, and all of a sudden, she just like looks down. And there's just like shit on the floor and shit on her foot. And she was wearing flats, so like the shoe only comes up to like where the toes end, and then it's just barefoot from there on up. And it was just like right on her barefoot. I couldn't have even I couldn't imagine just how that would have felt, like looking at it 
and like understanding like what had like what I was looking at. Like even once I realized that it was just like dog shit, like on her bare skin, I was got a little bit upset about it. But oh man. see this is this is the real thing I have a harness this is my cat's harness and uh, this is the part that he does not like <laughs> which I get honestly I understand but uh, it's good this is also another good one that's like safety tested in vehicles and stuff it's good for traveling um, it's actually a dog harness, but my cat's so big that it's all that works for him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he doesn't really like it very much. Titan, what's that? Oh, well, he didn't really mind it there. When, I'll tell you the other day, on Friday, when I went to, uh... When I went to put him in it, he did not like it at all. Like, pulled the harness out, he was gone, under the bed. And I was like, all right, this is going to be interesting. Um, he also me meowed. Oh. Dropping a shit ton of frames there. Oh, wow, feisty. <laughs> um, is stream okay? Oh, it's trying to be, but it's fucking just not. Get rid of some of these windows that are open. What else I got open? Nothing really. You guys okay? Everything cool? Can I continue? All right. Um, yeah, but he just like darts it when he sees the harness. So, yep, there's the leg. Ah <laughs> uh, man, yeah, a ton of drop frames just there. But yeah, we'll see what happens. He used, we used, I used to take my cat on tons of walks when I had my car and I could actually drive places. It was a lot more convenient and easy because I could just throw my cat in the car, uh, take the heart leash and harness, and then when we get to the destination, put his stuff on him and then um, just go walking. But now it's like when I have to walk to the place that I'm going to, having to walk around like the traffic and other people, like my cat really just, none of my cats are comfortable with cars yet so they just don't understand it's fair I get it um, so yeah the backpack thing is really cool because then they can just kind of hide in it until I get to the place but he kind of he whined and cried the whole way and I felt really bad but he just didn't know what was going on is all once I got to the I took him to my store or to the store that I work at and once he got there he was just like everything was fine he was so comfortable he just like popped right out the bag sniffed around and then just like carried carried on with his own business he wandered around the store he was like walking up to other people um one of the customers was like filming him <laughs> for like i guess her friend or her sister or something for her instagram i don't know one of those things um so that was cool yeah he's really good he used to come to the store a lot so he used to be used to it but i guess because it's been so long and it was just like all of a sudden hey like Here's your harness, get in this bag, let's go. He was probably like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, the only times that he's ever been like out of the house in the past little while has been to the vet, so I, I totally understand why he was, whoa, <laughs> uncomfortable about it. How <laughs> was the weeb? The weeb's always very strong, uh, but the weed is very good as well. It's not, it wasn't really that overpowering, I find. And I'm able to maintain a pretty solid conversation, at least to my perspective. <laughs> Hopefully it's been all right. Unlike yesterday where I just like totally shut down. Once I started playing Apex, I was like, yeah, this is not good. Definitely took a dive bomb when I started playing Apex. So we're going to cut that out of today's stream and see how it goes. <laughs> um, I will, however, play more Apex probably tomorrow. I'll Tomorrow's stream will be dedicated to playing Apex and not Weed Review, because I have no more weed to review. Until next time, I'll probably do Weed Reviews once a month for a week, the first week of every month, perhaps, or just however often I order. 
Um, I'm gonna start ordering in smaller amounts so that I can get different things more often and just make more content for you guys who enjoy watching it. Um, that's my plan. Cat content, weed content, game content. Apex Legends, Destiny, if you like those games. Risk of Rain 2 I just picked up and it's been super fun. So whenever the Shrug Squad gang gets together to play that, that'll be a hell of a time, I'm sure. You, you'll want to be around for that. Um, what's going on, everybody? We just had a, a little jump in viewers. If you're new here, be sure to follow uh, if you have enjoyed hanging out. Um, because, yeah, like I said, I have a schedule now, but it's like a it's like a guideline. I wouldn't trust it too much. He's It's a little sketchy. Come here for the weed and the cats. It's a good combo. Honestly, what more could you ask for? <sighs> Both things just bring endless amounts of happiness. Oh, it's very good. You are just sitting right on top of the bag now. It's now a it's now a bed. It's a bag, it's a carrier, it's a bed. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm only here for the achievement hunter poster. Do you like that? Yeah. Can you even see it? Kind of. Do you know what this one is from, Brody? I also have my Halo 4 Collector's Edition poster. Um, and then my Rings of Saturn wall flag up above. Um, it was one of their charity live streams. Uh, I know something pretty wild happened. Um, I'm pretty sure Jack got pretty drunk that live stream, but I'm not sure. Um, I can't remember. But yeah, I was just like, you know what, this is super cool. I'm gonna pick this up. And this one I really like, especially just because it's like the, ne the NES. Uh, like, game artwork or whatever. Super cool. Also, Ray's still in it, so... It's kind of a... it's kind of a gem. A relic, if you will. <sighs> Another job. How old is she, by the way? That's a, actually, that's a valid question. How old is your cat? I don't remember. I she was like four months? Five months? Six months. That was my next guess. Um, yeah, her teeth are probably just at the the final stage of growing in, so that could be why she's trying to chew on you. That or she's just an asshole. Because, you know, cats are like that. Right, Bean? Bean. 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 You know what I mean? Just ignores you straight up. I think I irritated her that time. I was petting and looked away. <laughs> Rip. Oh, I see, yeah. The pet and then the strike. Luckily, none of my cats do that. I had one cat that did do that. Been an hour already? It's been a solid hour. Um, I, oh, watch your tail there, buddy. there. I have a box of some stuff. Um, a couple of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire books. That are useful, but I don't use. Halo 4 steelbook case and some other goodies in there as well. Uh, this is what I wanted to find. This is my Destiny 1 PS4 Collector's Edition. Taken King Collector's Edition, I guess. Have you seen this, Brody? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's take a look. Oh good, it's in here. Okay. Get that down in there. So they give you this. The uh, Insula Thessararia. Thessararia. Yeah. <laughs> um, it comes with some pages of some things. What are these? I don't even remember what any of this stuff is. Some weird cards. Jack and a queen. Random, but interesting. Um, comes with a note from Cade Six. Um, the font's hard to read. Uh, I won't read. I'll save that for another time. I'll read that another time. Maybe when I play Destiny. And then it also comes with this, which if this is a poster, oh my god, it is. I should hang this up. Ooh, what the fuck? I didn't even know I had this. It's a goddamn blueprint for the sleeper simulant. The light probably makes that super hard to see. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's epic. And a backside as well that just kind of has like some map things, but that's dope. Backlight. This definitely feels like a backlight material, so I should check that out because I have a blacklight. Um, so yeah, that'd be cool. There's something else in here, but, or is that just, what is this? Oh yeah, there's something else in here. Two things. A Tex Mechanica patch. That's pretty cool. This looks super nice. I definitely have to put that on my vest. Because it'll match really well too. And then this sort of like postcardy type thing. Whoa. This is like brand new to me. I for have forgotten all about this, to be honest. This is fucking cool. Some nice concept art. And it's on like canvas paper. I really like that. This, uh, this little envelope. Does this look familiar? And I don't know if, if they're if the envelopes are even thing there, but it's got a postmaster thing on it. Everything in here is like really good quality, so I'm I'm happy I paid the money for it. That doesn't fit in there. Um, and I'm gonna keep that out because I'm gonna put that on my jacket. And then this was like the real thing that kind of drawed people into it. Um, there's kind of like this cutaway book, I guess, that you can use for something. There are pages of things before this. Some lore and stuff. Treasure Island. Drive a sniper. Sorry, my light's really bright. I'll probably go through that in more detail, maybe enjoying a Destiny stream, but I also got myself my very own Strange Coin. Uh, and it's pretty good, it's like, weighted too, it doesn't ding, sadly, but... Maybe if I... No, it doesn't ding. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. Um, whoa! We're in the Taken Realm, dude! Whoa! I don't want to like hit my camera lens. Whoa! New filter. Dude, I mean, they just strap this fucking onto my camera lens.
got like slots for these things. And then this is the steelbook case that it came in. Super nice. Ooh, shiny. Every, all the original paperwork and everything is in there. Pristine. Played this probably for a couple of months and then never played it again <laughs> because I started playing it on Xbox. Oh my god. The steelbook case is magnetic to the magnets that keep the flap open. Oh my goodness. What is this stuff? Taken King. I guess. Oh, this is the code that gets you the Taken King stuff with all the expansions and some like exclusive armory type stuff. Early access weapons. 30 day PlayStation trial that I should probably use sometime. Oh, dude. Me too. PC is very good. I, I don't think I'll ever give up the Xbox because there's just so many good things about playing console, but I think everybody needs to have a solid PC to be able to just do things on. I want to put this up here somewhere, or like, I want to put it somewhere visible. My plants, my sucks have died, so maybe I'll, I'll have to get a new suck. Um, I should put that over there for now. I doubt I'll be able to revive them. We can attempt, though. Just dabble a little bit of water in there. Keep it under this heat lamp. See what happens. Share the same water with my plant. I should try using the wide angle. I wonder... Yeah. You guys want to play around with my fucking camera lenses for a little bit? I won't be on for very much longer. I don't really have <laughs> many ideas for things to do. I'm, as you can see, I'm kind of just randomly coming up with things on the spot. I don't feel like streaming any games today. But... I like just hanging out. Sometimes it's fun. Oh, th this song is, uh, I, I am pretty sure, a remix of the Apex Legends theme. Oh, yikes. That is just one big blur. Are you guys ready to see what my camera looks like without the thing? Do you want this kind of, uh, are you ready for this? This type of uh, break into realism. Oof. Look at how close that is. Oh my god. Cats in the background. This actually isn't a bad camera angle. But because of my light, oh my god, my face is like so blown out. Jesus Christ. I have tweaked my settings to fit the lens, <laughs> not the camera. Um, oh. I have taken the wrong thing off. Right, one wide angle lens. Look at this fat boy. Dude, they're so good. Let me show you the box. Hold on, let me clean the front of my webcam first. Look at that sweet, sleepy boy. Yeah, I don't mind this. I don't mind this angle. Time to get a third camera. I actually do want to get a new camera, so I will eventually end up with a three camera setup. I want to get the Logitech Brio. Oof slides up like just a little bit too much there no nope. see it's still well that's okay 
They both look exactly the same, to be honest. This one just doesn't have, like, the circular edges. I know, I am, I'm so fucking bright. But if I turn that off, then it's really dark. I could, uh, try turning the exposure down, maybe, just a little bit. But then it, the background's not as good. I just have terrible lighting, honestly. That's what it is. I want to get colored lights, which I think would be cool. I used to have a blue light. Can I angle up the lamp? Yeah, I can. Uh, and just put it like this. That probably looks a lot better. My eyes, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like the 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 bulb. The 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 part that the bulb screws into is like disconnected from the mantle, so it like topples over, and I can like shine it directly, kind of thing. I do have like a Pixar lamp over here that is on like a snake head that I can adjust. Um, but it's pretty much like I keep it where it is right now. This one is basically lighting this side of me as well as anything towards the cats. And then this one right here basically just illuminates me towards this way a little bit. It does look really good right now. Now that I tilted it up, it looks much better. Um, I'm going to go back to the fisheye lens. Because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't squeeze as hard on the, with the clip. And doesn't slide up. I mean, we could rock this. Like, why does, like, this looks really good all of a sudden. I didn't, I never knew my camera could look this good. I did change some settings that I learned, uh, with a YouTube video. But I don't really notice the differences because I'm using the lens. Blame the crappy internet too? Yeah, 100%, dude. All I, I... All I need now is a Brio so I can stream 60 FPS, that's all. The Brio is like 130, I think, or 200, but um, it's it's one of Logitech's, I guess, best quality webcams. So I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I've heard many good things about it. I watched a video that compared it to this webcam as well as a couple of DSLRs, and it it honestly paired, like, very well against each one. It was way better than this one, and only slightly, like, only slightly worse than the DSLRs. So, <laughs> it's a thought if you're interested in getting a new webcam and you want to put a little bit of extra money into it. The Logitech Brio apparently is pretty decent, so we'll see. If I have any extra um, spendings left over from buying my PC parts, I will most likely get that. Because it'd be nice to have like an open camera for this scene and then when I'm actually playing games, if it was like more close up, like like how it was without the lens and have it like be close up and more like focus and out of focus. Cause right now everything just kind of blends. The focusing is really like soft. I do like having that really hard difference between in focus and out of focus, or at least I've been trying to get to that, but I think my room's also just too small. There's not really a lot of depth in my room. Like I can almost touch the wall. There, touching the wall. So, pretty small. Don't got a lot of room to work with. I also want to get a couch. I want to get a couch and put it right over there. Right here. In that, up against that wall. Get rid of that ugly fucking table so that I don't end up piling clothes on it like I do there. And then, uh, yeah. Cat couch. Hopefully an inexpensive one that fits there it has to be short and it has to be kind of narrow and then yeah cats can use it and then i can actually have people over we can do some fun couch streams or something who knows yeah i love seed exactly probably gonna go for an arm well we'll see we'll see what my options are but yeah i'm super excited to get a new pc for sure um all right, it's been a solid hour since I basically started the stream. Um, 
As far as this Death Star goes, honestly, it's really nice. I was not expecting it, especially for an Indica. I can definitely tell that later I'm going to be, like, really tired. I'm probably going to have an awesome sleep tonight. But as far as, like, being able to just, like, keep up with what's going on, I feel like it's really... It's okay. Yeah. I was intimidated at first, but now, yeah, it's not bad. The Skywalker one was pretty strong. Um, yeah, it was kind of hard to stay focused. And then, still, the Sherbert one's definitely my favorite. It's very good. But yeah, um, it's about 6 o'clock my time. I'm getting very hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream now. Um, I do have a couple of things that I would like to quickly talk about before I end. One of them is I am currently working on a game, um, and I'm very excited because I think I'm actually going to like try to make it into like a real thing hopefully um so i'm gonna try to work hard um i'm hoping that i can kind of get myself to prioritize time into developing the game over streaming sometimes rather than the other way around um and then certain stages of the development, I'm sure I'll be able to stream as well, depending on how comfortable I get with it. But right now, all it is right now is just ideas that I've written down in uh, a notepad on my Discord or uh, Google Doc. Develop pizza? I could, man. I could make a bomb-ass pizza, dude. I could. If I had all the time in the world to stream, I would probably have a cooking section or a cooking... Uh, what do you, what do you want to call it? Segment of my streams where I just make dishes because I would love to learn how to cook. But alas, all I have time for is instant noodles and peanut butter sandwiches. Um, so yeah. Uh, the game is basically going to be a pirate themed RPG that includes two storylines you can follow. Uh, one is the Navy side, where you fight against the pirates. The other side is the pirate side, where you fight against the Navy. On the Navy side, you fight against uh, treacherous and notorious pirates who just wreak havoc and are just love destruction and all that kind of stuff. And then playing on the pirate side, you are a pirate who just wants to be free and have an adventurous lifestyle. And you're fighting against corrupt Navy officers that are making the world a terrible place, similar to, like, our current government right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably most likely be using RPG Maker. I want to get RPG, the latest version of RPG Maker MV, um, because it, I've watched some videos about it, and it looks like it can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm interested in hand-drawing a lot of the textures and environments, um, or at least getting someone to help me. Um, I might commission Zach maybe, to make me some art for the game, as far as, like, environment and textures go, because I do really like his style. Um, but yeah. It's gonna have lots of things. It's gonna have lots of things. Basically, um, let me open up my Google Doc for it, actually, because I always get excited when I talk about this or think about it. Um, all I have to do is type in Doc, in the search bar and hit enter and then it comes up so um it's gonna have creatable characters you can pick between a boy or a girl um and you will be able to pick between a set of like starter clothes so that you don't you're not just like one determined character like you make your own character and play as like your character throughout the game um there's gonna be like various hairstyles and facial expressions and clothing and stuff that you can also Hairstyles and facial expressions not so much, but as far as clothing goes, like, you'll be able to find, like, different apparel and, like, obviously armor and stuff along the way um, as you go. There is going to be different, uh, basically, depending on what side you pick, if you pick the... Let me just throw this up on the screen. These are my notes, my terrible notes.
You can kind of see how I work, I guess, how my brain works. So these are the ranks. You have Navy ranks and Pirate ranks. Uh, you start off as either a Choi boy or girl or a Cabin boy or girl. This is basically where you are like... The story will start off by, if you're a pirate, you basically are living a shitty, terrible life and you just want something new and you want to adventure and be free. So you escape a terrible uh, lifestyle um, in your hometown and so you like run away on a pirate ship and basically get adopted and you are now uh, like a part of the crew basically. You work your way up to become a mate which advances into one of four different roles that you can pick uh, which is uh, the ones that I've come up with is Gunner. Uh, I'm gonna be super general so Gunner, Doctor, uh, Navigator, and uh, like ship right shipmaster um i have ship right over here these are like yeah these are like the more basically basic names for them but <laughs> yeah you would think right hmm i've been getting a lot of inspiration for sure but um yeah i think it's gonna be really good um i'm hoping to make it a little bit more original <laughs> and not just rip off one piece so uh it's not gonna quite be entirely the same uh, I've been looking up a lot of, like, realistic Navy stuff as well, so that's, I'm gonna have influences for that, and I'll, as well as, like, kind of, like, ancient pirate stuff, too, um, as far as, like, I don't know, facts go. I'm hoping to be factual with it as much as possible, um, but yeah, the level progression's gonna be cool, um, basically getting all the way up into the, the end rank, which is, like, end game, um, I'm gonna have different enemies, different weapon pools as far as like weapons, healing, uh, stuff like that, but it's gonna be like an adventure RPG basically, kind of like, it's gonna be like a weird mixture between Pokemon, uh, The Legend of Zelda, and like Final Fantasy, and all those games put together into some, like into, but with a pirate world. And I think it'll be, I, I'm, excited about it to say the least i don't know what else to say um but yeah and then i've got a lot of music ideas coming as well i hope to write all the music for the game myself um so i'm gonna start trying to write some original mu original music and uh to practice and eventually get good enough to put my ideas into the game but yeah so hoping to put my time into that but we'll see. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else that I would like to talk about. Weed was good. 10 out of 10. Death Star, very good. Skywalker. I give it a, I give it a 7 out of 10. Because it was kind of unexpected for how kind of heavy it was going to be. Um, Sherbert. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 plus that like one step above 10 out of 10 was very good i'm very happy with that and then i have tried all three of the shatters and i don't know if it's just my pen i think i might need to get like a new way um to burn it but <sighs> yeah it just it's been all right but it hasn't been good so i'm still waiting to get like a good experience with the shatter but we'll see i think i need to get a new pen or or something smoke till you don't know what arms are anymore god damn i okay i'll leave you guys with a story it was my first 420 ever first time celebrating 420 for actually being 420 and i was with a really good buddy of mine um who also does some music stuff um, him and I still talk every once in a while. Um, I follow him on Instagram mostly. Plays a lot of guitar. Anyways, it was my, it was my year after graduating high school, which was 2013. Uh, yes. And <clears throat> we were in his bathroom, which was very small, you know, typical small bathroom size where it's just a tub at the end with a toilet beside it. The sink beside that 
and then it's just like a like maximum two people can fit in the bathroom and we had four people sitting in there uh i was sitting on the toilet one person was sitting on the tub one person was standing up against the wall and then my buddy was sitting on the sink counter we were passing around this little six inch bong and it went around twice it was not only my first time celebrating 420 but my first time taking hits out of like a bong like actually because like i've tried hitting a bong before and before that i'm pretty sure i just wasn't doing it right but um definitely like hit it solid twice around uh the air there was no oxygen <laughs> in that little bathroom it was just 100 percent carbon dioxide and uh just like exhaled weed smoke so after we sesh the bathroom we all stand up to go and leave the house to go for a walk and smoke more weed i stand up and my vision just immediately starts to fade into black and i'm like i'm still conscious i'm still fully like aware of like what's happening around me but i just couldn't see anything and i just kind of like stood there and i was like um I can't see <laughs> and it's like or uh my buddy was just kind of like what <laughs> i was like yeah I, I can't see anything he was like oh shit all right um maybe just like sit down for a little bit so i sat down on the steps for like 30 seconds and then my vision slowly started to come back and then i was like okay i can see again uh, we're good to go and then we went outside and I was totally fine for the rest of the day after that <laughs> I think it was because of the lack of oxygen in the 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 bathroom that as soon as the door opened to go out into the hallway um, it was just like I don't know like being refret like being restarted almost that's what happened to you when you got knocked yourself out of your longboard I remember that that was gnarly <sighs> Yeah, that's fucked. Tunnel vision for like five minutes. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh, another time. Ooh. Damn, dude. You gotta get better at riding that longboard, I think. Kappa. Went fully blind. Yep, that's exactly what happened to me. And it was, it's was it been a good meme ever since. Every once in a while, my buddy's like, dude, I can't see. <laughs> and it's a good chuckle. But yeah, that's a, there's a good experience for you from me to you it's been an hour and a half i'm gonna head out and make some food i hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening and uh i'll catch you next time my schedule says i should be streaming tomorrow so we'll see if it happens stay tuned bye bye